What's up everyone and welcome back. Patrick here moving on to the next word problem dealing with quadratics. This is going to be another a ball being thrown off a roof type of word problem. I feel like we've done a ton of these so far in the course and as we add more tools with quadratics throughout the course you could see how the same kind of word problem can be solved in different kinds of ways with the new tools that you have. So we're going to go through another one here. We're told that a ball is thrown off a roof and its height in meters relative to horizontal distance in meters is represented by this equation. H equals negative x squared plus 6x plus 16. And we have to answer these questions. How high is the roof that the ball is thrown off? Part B, what is the max height reached and at what horizontal distance? And then part C, at what horizontal distance does the ball hit the ground? So let me erase the uh, the questions here just to get a little bit more room to work here. So the first question is at what height is the ball thrown off of? Well notice this is x, this is h here. Well it's going to be thrown off the roof, that's going to be the initial height and so that's going to happen when x is going to equal 0. And so if we plug in 0 for x, notice that both of those terms would go to zero and we would just be left with a height of 16 meters. So that's the answer to part A, right? So that's the initial height. So we have a coordinate here of an x value of zero and then we have an h value of 16, basically the c value in that quadratic right there. Then in part B, they're asking what is the maximum height reached by the ball? And then at what horizontal distance does that happen? So they're basically asking for the vertex. They're asking for the coordinates of the vertex. The x value of the vertex is going to be the horizontal distance that the max height is reached. And then the h value is going to be the actual max height. And notice that we are going to get a maximum value because we have a negative leading coefficient. So we know this parabola is going to be opening down, which makes sense in terms of the word problem because we're throwing a ball off a roof, it's going to a certain height, and it's coming back down to the ground. So different ways we could find this vertex. Let's do it with completing the square. Just in the last section, we learned about this, uh, this method. So let's do that. Let's convert it to vertex form. Then we'll be able to get the vertex directly. So let me actually erase this uh, H for now. Let's just work with the quadratic. So to complete the square, we would take out a negative from the first two. We've got to have the x squared by itself. So we have 6x over here. Then we have plus 16 like that. Um, so basically, we factor out a negative from the first two. The signs change. Then we take the negative 6. We divide it by 2. And we square it. So we'll have negative 3 squared, which would give us 9. So we'd have negative x squared minus 6x plus 9 minus 9 plus 16 like that. Then we take out the negative 9, so we multiply it by negative 1. And so negative 9 times negative 1 would give us positive 9. We got positive 16. Then we got negative x minus 3, right? This is going to always factor into a perfect square trinomial. We're going to have squared plus 25 like that. Okay, so this quadratic, this quadratic, they're the exact same thing. We converted it from standard form to vertex form. And so let's actually write this new um, format over here. And what's nice about this format, well, we can get the vertex directly. Notice that it's going to be 3 and 25. That's going to be the coordinates of the vertex right here. So we got 3 and then we got 25. So that actually answers part B. So the horizontal distance where the max height is occurring, it's traveled a horizontal distance of 3 meters and the max height is, uh, is 25 meters. So for part B I'll just put the uh, coordinate but if you want to write out a sentence for part B for the answer, then you can. Horizontal distance is 3 meters, 
height is 25 meters when the ball reaches its max height. So then what's happening is if we draw this quadratic further, it reaches that max height, and then it hits the ground right here. And so it's hitting the ground right there. And so that's what we're going to have to solve for in part C. They're asking what horizontal distance, at what horizontal distance does the ball hit the ground? And so notice when it hits the ground, what's the H value going to be? Well, it's going to be zero. And so you can, that's going to be a quadratic equation. So there's actually multiple ways to solve it. We could use either of these formats. Remember when we talked about quadratic equations, we talked about there's different methods to solve them. You could do it with factoring, you could do it with the quadratic formula, which is something we haven't gone through yet. You could also do it with completing the square. And because we have it in vertex form, we can do it that way as well. Let me do both ways so you could see. We, uh, we can't tell yet if it's going to factor, but I think this quadratic is going to factor. So we can use the first method as well. So if we use the first method, we plug in zero for h, and then let's solve it with the standard form. Now solving from standard form, it's got a factor. If it doesn't, then you'd have to use the formula, but I think it is going to factor. So if we take out a negative from everything, and then this bracket here, I'm not going to go through the whole decomposition process. You should be fairly comfortable with that by now, but this bracket here, it does factor into x minus 8, x plus 2, like that. And so this is still 0. And so from here, when is this right side going to equal 0? Well, either when x minus 8 is equal to 0 or when x plus 2 is going to equal 0. So this is going to happen at an x value of 8 is going to happen at an x value negative 2. So those are the intercepts right there of the quadratic. The reason why we got a negative is for the word problem, you just want to look at the quadratic, only this portion of the quadratic. But if you look at the quadratic in an abstract way without any word problem attached to it, well, it's just going to keep extending down, right? This is going to keep extending down in an infinite way. And so if you look at it like that, that negative 2 is happening right there. That's where the other uh, intercept is. And the other intercept here is, um, is 8, like that. All right, so that's where that negative is coming in. But again, because we're dealing with a word problem, we would just ignore that. But just in case you're wondering where it all fits in, if we were to extend this quadratic, if you take this quadratic, either of these are the same. If you graph it in decimals, you're going to just get an actual full quadratic with the intercepts being negative 2 and positive 8. Another thing I want to mention is that notice that those intercepts make sense in terms of the vertex, or at least the axis of symmetry of the vertex of 3, because notice 3 is the midpoint between negative 2 and 8, right? Negative 2 plus 8 is 6 divided by 2 would give us 3. So that's another way to find the vertex. I didn't go about it that way, just because in this particular unit, we learned how to complete the square and get it in that vertex format, so getting the vertex directly. But you could have also took this, factored it, got the intercepts initially, got the midpoint of the intercepts, which would have been 3, then took 3, plugged it in to get that 25. But I did it the uh, vertex form way. Right? So from here, we can tell that uh, what's the answer to part C? Well, 8 meters. At a horizontal distance of 8 meters, that's when the ball hits the ground, right? And we could just ignore this portion right there. So that's one way to go about it. So you make the standard form equal to 0, and then you factor it, and then you get your solutions. You could also, though, this is not as popular of a method, but we can make the vertex form equal to 0 and then solve for x that way. And so what we would do here, bring the uh, 25 over, so it'd be negative 25, and then we'd have negative x minus 3 squared. Uh, divide both sides by negative 1. There's like a negative 1 in front here. So we'd have positive 25. Then to get rid of this exponent, square root both sides. And we'd end up with x minus 3 equals plus or minus 5. Remember the square root of something, square root of a positive number, it's always going to be plus or minus. And so there's two cases here. Either positive 5 can equal x minus 3, which would give us an x value of 8 when we isolate for x, 
or x minus 3 is negative 5. Bring this over, negative 5 plus 3 would give us that x value of negative 2 that we got before. So to get those same x-intercepts, this is another way, a less popular way, but it is a method that I went over in the overview video as well. Okay, and then there's actually a third way with the quadratic formula, but we haven't covered that yet, where you could take the a, b, and c value, you could plug it into a certain formula, and then you would get those values as well. Okay, so different ways to get this uh, 8 meters, and that's why I want to go over the same kind of problem as we add more tools in our arsenal, so you could just kind of see how everything fits together, how you could arrive at different answers in different ways, and I feel like just knowing all of these different ways makes you feel more comfortable with quadratic.